<gasps> big fish, big fish. Oh my gosh, I was just undoing a snag. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Oh my gosh, giant fish on the lighter rod. Giant fish on the lighter rod. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. I'm a freak, I'm an outcast, I'm a shadow. I stand with the lost souls looking for a hustle got a pulse on the streets I'm the one you won't look in the eye some of my favorite videos that I've done on this channel have been challenge videos and I have not done one in quite some time so today that is going to change we are heading out to the pond of giants where I will be attempting a very unique and difficult challenge when the monster crawls out of the sea you're gonna need somebody like me when your brother's got We have made it out to the Pond of Giants, and since you guys have seen the title in the thumbnail, you know that today's challenge will be to catch a fish using a lighter fishing rod. This thing is not intended to be used for fishing. I've actually attempted this challenge in the past, and I call it an absolute tank. Conditions were a lot better, but I'm going to revisit the challenge today. I was actually hoping to use this little mini bait caster. I ordered this on Amazon. They advertised it as a working fishing rod and it is nothing of the sort. The spool actually does not spin at all. So I was very disappointed when I found that out. So we are going to be using this spinning version, which the spool actually does spin. Let's get started. There are a couple ways to go about this challenge. The first time I attempted it, I used a lure and I caught an absolute tank of a bass. Oh, oh, how do I got one? Oh, it's a giant. Oh, this is not gonna work, guys. This is not gonna work. Yes, oh, holy cow. This time around, I brought lures, but I also brought a ton of night crawlers. Let's go ahead and start by rigging up a wacky rig Senko. This water is incredibly muddy today. It looks like chocolate milk. I've got about two inches of visibility. So because of that, I'm gonna be using a black with gold flake Senko. Let's toss it out there. Alrighty, here we go. First cast. All right, I've got about 15 feet of line on there. Hopefully that's enough to catch a fish. Now I've got two goals for today. The first goal is to catch a fish. The second goal is to catch a decent sized fish. Okay, no luck with the Wacky Rig Senko. Let's go ahead and switch it out with something else. I've changed up my tactic just a little bit. Instead of fishing a lure, I went ahead and rigged up a night crawler underneath a float. This pond just flooded, so I'm thinking these fish would probably be feeding on night crawlers. Let's toss it out there. All right, guys, I think selling picked up the bait. No way, you guys. I think selling actually picked up the bait. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Yes, fish on. Fish on, you guys. No way, you guys. First catch is a tiny largemouth bass. I will take it. I was beginning to lose hope. The funny thing is, this tiny bass actually looks fairly sizable next to this tiny fishing pole. See you later, buddy. Goal number one of catching a fish with the lighter fishing pole has been completed. Now to move on to goal number two, which is to catch a sizable one. As the name implies, the Pond of Giants is home to some monstrous fish. They are not always the easiest to catch, but I'm gonna try my best.
Okay, fishing has been incredibly slow so far. Let's go ahead, increase our chances of catching something and toss out a second rod and place it in the automatic hook setter. I have featured this gadget in a handful of my videos, so you guys are probably familiar with it by now. You stick this thing in the ground, you place your rod right there, and you set the trap by bending it forward. And whenever you get a bite, flings upwards and sets the hook on whatever picked up your bait. Okay, so far fishing has been very difficult. I'm thinking the fish may go after some moving baits. It's incredibly difficult to cast and retrieve a crankbait with the lighter fishing rod. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that theory with my larger spinning tackle. And if I do catch some fish, I will try using a crankbait on the lighter rod. So let's go ahead and toss out this lipless crankbait and see if anything wants to pick it up. There we go, fish on. Fish on, you guys. Oh, that's not a bad fish. Okay, we just caught our second fish of the day. Quite a bit larger than that first one. This guy picked up my little ultralight spinner. See you later, buddy. Seeing as that bass picked up that ultralight spinner, let's go ahead and rig up that exact same lure on the lighter fishing rod. And hopefully we'll be able to catch an even bigger one. Okay, here we go. I've got that same spinner rigged up on the lighter fishing pole. As much as I want to use this spinner with the lighter rod, I just cannot retrieve it fast enough to keep it off the bottom. I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. Okay, here's what I came up with. I've got a small little crappie jig. It's basically imitating a little bait fish and I'm gonna have that suspended beneath this float. This setup is not going to require me to retrieve it very quickly. I'm basically just gonna cast it out there and jig it in place and hope that a big fish wants to pick it up. Here we go. The sun is quickly setting and I'm getting more and more desperate. I've tried so many different baits and techniques with that lighter rod and my other fishing tackle, to be honest, without much success. Attempting this challenge today might have been a mistake, but I'm not ready to give up quite yet. I brought along my kayak today. I have yet to get in it, but I think it's about time we hop in there and hopefully get some last second luck. Oh my gosh. What in the world was that? Something massive. I just spooked off. Dang. That was a big fish. Oh my gosh, you guys, <gasps> big fish, big fish. Oh my gosh, I was just undoing a snag. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. Oh my gosh, giant fish on the lighter rod. Giant fish on the lighter rod. No way. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land him, guys. It's a monster. It's a monster. <gasps> no, it broke off. No, it broke off. 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 Oh, oh no, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. That is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. That was a massive fish. Massive fish. Oh my gosh, he bent and snapped the hook. There was nothing I could do there. I've only got about 15 feet of line and he was all the way at the end of the spool. I don't even know what to say. I am so disappointed right now. <sighs> I've lost fish before, but that one right there hurts. I've been attempting to catch a big fish all day with that lighter rod. And I think I might've bit off more than I could chew. That fish was massive. He picked up my bait. And it was the craziest thing because I was actually just undoing this snag. I hooked into this stick fish right here and I literally just drugged the whole thing across the cove. I was not expecting anything to pick up my bait. I just had it sitting out here in front of me right off the side of the kayak. And I looked down and my bobber was underwater and something massive picked it up. I have no idea what that was and we'll never know because it literally snapped the hook. The question that I am asking myself right now, was it stupid to use that lighter rod? Yes, of course it was stupid. That thing is not meant to be used to actually catch fish. I thought it was a fun idea. I had some fun with it in the past. Was I expecting to hook in to that giant fish? Absolutely not. I thought we might be able to hook into a decent sized fish, but that thing was absolutely massive. And although we were able to complete our goal of catching a fish with it, I don't think we had a chance to land that fish at all, especially since I only had about 15 feet of line. We were completely outgunned. Having said that though, I still had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. When the monster crawls out of the sea, you're gonna need somebody like me. When your brother's got blood in the streets, you better call somebody like me. Oh my god.